Here I'll be showing how to set up a uh, Fuji, which I just have uh, gotten working with the Timelapse Plus view. This is a Fuji X-T1, and uh, it's, it's working very well. I've got live view working and ramping, and uh, so I'm going to demo that here. I've got it also uh, with the Genie Mini, the Serp Genie Mini here, and that's going to connect via Bluetooth. And so the first thing I did was just set up the exposure on the camera so that it's uh, looking good, and then I'm going to plug camera into the view and we're also going to uh, turn on the genie mini so in the on the view here I've got settings wireless setup I have Bluetooth enabled so if it's uh, if it says enable Bluetooth that means it's not enabled and you just uh, select that one to enable it so it's already enabled here so I'm going to uh, press the on button on the genie on the genie mini here and let's see it's hard to hard to see in this light but the lights blinking that means it's ready oh and now it's solid and so that means that it should should show connected here uh, very soon and it hasn't yet but that's all right let's see Oh, I guess this wasn't solid. It's hard to see. It can take a few seconds to connect, but uh, once it does connect, okay, now it's a solid light. And yes, now we see the, um, the little Bluetooth icon up there, a uh, tiny little thing there. And so normally, um, well, you can do it either way. You can set up motion uh, quite nicely with the app uh, from a phone, but in this case, I am filming with my phone and so I'm going to do it all from the view to also show how how quick this is um, so there's a uh, live view on there that's working it's flickery just because of the shutter speed with the phone video time-lapse mode auto ramping interval mode auto variable let me get this focus there we go all right day interval I'm gonna bring that down to eight seconds since we're about 45 minutes from sunset here. Uh, night interval 40, I'm, I'm doing that longer because I want to go into the night of ways. Um, tracking, we can have it uh, automatically, you can have it follow the sun, follow the moon, um, but we're just going to do a basic uh, 15 degrees per hour pan. That matches the rotation of the earth and so um, we get a nice, uh, we, we follow the stars really nicely as uh, uh, after the sun goes down. So um, this is where we select the motor for tracking that's the genie mini uh, number one it's the only thing we have connected right now and then uh, ramping options we're just going to leave that stuff at default not going to do HDR and I'll hit start and it takes a few seconds to get started now it's it's going and that's it so I'm going to let this run for a while and then we'll uh, check out the results when we're done and what I really like about uh, this setup is it's very quick to set up and we get ramping and motion without even having to think about it. We don't have to do any math or plan ahead. Um, we just know we're going to get a nice, uh, nice smooth pan that follows the stars.